Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Gray's Anatomy Official, please subscribe and keep watching for more details. I am your friend Alina, let's start. Gray's Anatomy is currently preparing for season 20, and the show has already proven that there's always a way to bring back characters. Gray's Anatomy has become known for how it handles the departure of its characters, especially its most popular ones, but luckily, some of them can still return for season 20. Grey's Anatomy has become one of the longest-running medical dramas in TV history, and it shows no signs of stopping even though its title character, Meredith Grey, Ellen Pompeo, has left. Grey's Anatomy hasn't been safe from controversies, and some of these have been the result of how the writers have handled the goodbyes of many of its characters. While not every main character who has left Grey's Anatomy has been killed, Many were written off in ways that didn't fit their stories or were simply too tragic. Grey's Anatomy has proven it can bring back any character, even those who have died, as it did during Meredith's COVID storyline. But there are many others who are still alive that can return at some point. With Grey's Anatomy preparing for season 20, and with its future beyond that still unclear, it's a great opportunity for some characters to come back. And here's who and how can return in Grey's Anatomy Season 20. 8. Cormac Hayes Cormac Hayes, Richard Flood, was the head of pediatric surgery at Grey Sloan Memorial Hospital and one of Meredith Grey's love interests. Cormac made his debut in Grey's Anatomy Season 16, when he got a job at Grey Sloan Memorial Hospital after working at the Klossmann Institute for Medical Research in Zurich, Switzerland. Hayes worked with Christina Yang, who was key in his getting the job at Gray Sloan. Once at Gray Sloan, Hayes developed a friendship with Owen Hunt, which was a big part of the reason why he ended up leaving the hospital. In Gray's Anatomy Season 18, Hayes learned that Hunt had been secretly euthanizing veterans, and while he was qualified to do that, he was planning to help veterans that didn't qualify for the program of assisted death. As this is a felony, Hayes was put in a difficult position, so he chose to leave the hospital instead of ratting on his friend. Now that Owen has paid for what he did, Hayes doesn't have to hide anymore, so he's free to return to Gray Sloan to assist the rest of the Staff 7 Alex Karev. Gray's anatomy has seen many controversial exits, and Alex Karev's Justin Chambers is one of them. Karev was the head of pediatric surgery at Gray Sloan Memorial Hospital and one of Meredith's closest friends. Karev was one of the original interns of Gray's Anatomy, starting his career at the same time as Meredith, Izzy, Christina, and more, and he's one of the characters that went through the best character development. Unfortunately, everything that Karev had built came crashing down with his abrupt and out-of-place exit. Alex went to Yoa to supposedly help his mom, but that wasn't true, and he told his wife, Joe, that he was going through something before he stopped answering her calls. It was later revealed through letters he left for Meredith, Joe, Miranda Bailey, and Richard Weber that he had reconnected with Izzy and learned that she had twins thanks to frozen embryos. This meant that Izzy's children were Alex's, so he decided to move in with them and left Joe and Seattle. Alex Karev's story was left incomplete, and Gray's Anatomy Season 20 would be a great opportunity to bring him back and address the loose ends in his story, finally giving him the closure he deserves. 6. Christina Yang One of the most unforgettable but also slightly controversial exits in Gray's Anatomy was that of Christina Yang, Sandra O, oh, Meredith's best friend and person. Christina stood out from her colleagues for being fiercely competitive, focused, and knowledgeable, but also for having trouble conveying her emotions. One of Christina's most emotional moments was her relationship with Preston Burke, who left her on their wedding day. Because of this, it came as a surprise that Burke played a key role in Christina, leaving Gray Sloan. In Gray's Anatomy Season 10, Burke offered Christina a job as the head of the hospital he founded in Switzerland, as he was leaving to move with his family. Christina accepted, and she moved to Zurich to become a researcher 
Chief Medical Officer, and Director of Cardiothoracic Surgery at the Klossman Institute for Medical Research. Christina briefly returned to Seattle for Derek Shepard's funeral, but she can make a proper return in Grey's Anatomy Season 20, and the best way to do so is if Richard Weber finally retires this season. The writers of Grey's Anatomy would surely want to bring the surviving interns from Season 1 back to say goodbye to Weber, so it's a perfect way to bring Christina Yang back. 5. Arizona Robbins Another departure that didn't go well due to how it was handled was that of Arizona Robbins, Jessica Capshaw. Arizona Robbins was the head of fetal surgery and attending pediatric surgeon at Grace Sloan, and she's best remembered for her complicated relationship with Callie Torres. Following the plane crash that led to Arizona's leg being amputated by Callie, their relationship deteriorated and they ended up divorcing but that was only the beginning of a series of problems for both. Arizona and Callie got into a custody battle over their daughter, Sophia, that started when Callie wanted to move to New York with Penny and take Sophia with her. Arizona eventually won but ended up sharing Sophia with Callie. Sometime later, Sophia moved back to Seattle, but she was unhappy as she missed her school, friends, and Callie. Arizona then decided to move to New York so Sophia could be close to her and Callie, and she left Grey's Anatomy. Arizona hasn't returned to the series ever since, but Grey Sloan could use her pediatric expertise, which would be a great excuse to bring her back in season 20 for a couple of episodes. 4. Jackson Avery Jackson Avery, Jess Williams, joined Grey Sloan as part of the merger with Mercy West and became head of plastic surgery. Jackson left Grey's Anatomy in season 17 when he decided to make a change through his family's foundation, the Harper Every Foundation, after experiencing severe racial inequity in medicine. Jackson appeared in Grey's Anatomy season 19 when Meredith visited him in Boston, and they discussed her desire to cure Alzheimer's. Jackson assured Meredith she will have unlimited resources at his hospital, and she accepted the offer to move to Boston. Jackson's involvement in the foundation and this new link to Meredith and her research leaves the door wide open for his return in Grey's Anatomy Season 20. In addition to that, Jackson is one of Grey's Anatomy's many legacy characters, and his brief returns are a treat to viewers, making his return for a couple of episodes, or even just one, in Grey's Anatomy Season 20 a lot more likely. Related, Grey's Anatomy's open-door exits are a good thing for Season 20, 3 Maggie Pierce. Although Grey's Anatomy Season 19 saw the departure of Maggie Pierce, Kelly McCreary, that doesn't mean she can't come back for a couple of episodes in Season 20. Maggie Pierce was the head of cardiothoracic surgery at Grey Sloan, and she's also Meredith's half-sister, as she's the daughter of Ellis Gray and Richard Weber. Maggie is married to Winston Dugo, and at the end of Gray's Anatomy season 19, they decided to stay married but apart as Maggie moved to Chicago. It's through her marriage to Winston that Maggie can return in Gray's Anatomy season 20, even if not necessarily as part of Gray Sloan's staff. To Addison Montgomery, Addison Montgomery, Kate Walsh, is another Grey's Anatomy legacy character that can easily be brought back in Season 20. Addison left Grey's Anatomy in Season 3 and starred in her own spin-off series, Private Practice, but she continued to make sporadic appearances in Grey's Anatomy as she assisted various surgeries over the years. Addison returned briefly in Grey's Anatomy Season 18 and made a proper comeback in Season 19 for five episodes so she could return once more in Season 20 to continue to assist the Gray Sloan crew, who can always use her expertise. 1. Meredith Gray Gray's Anatomy Season 19 was the first one to not have Meredith as the main character throughout the whole season. Meredith made the big decision of moving to Boston to continue her Alzheimer's research, and it's this research that can keep bringing her back to Seattle. Meredith's hunch on the research and coming clean about the goal of her whole research can have big repercussions in Grey's Anatomy Season 20, 
And given how important this research is not just to Meredith, but the series in general, it will continue being a focal point even if Meredith is no longer in Seattle. Ellen Pompeo has confirmed she will return, though not in a main role. So there will be more Meredith Grey for, at least, one more season of Grey's Anatomy. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel Grey's Anatomy Official and stay with Yusa.